All right. Well, I am here with Adam C. McKinnon. Adam has written the book Baseball for Kids, a young fan's guide to the history of the game. And we're here to talk about the process of that, how you create a public history for children. So, Adam, how's it going? I'm I'm doing all right, man. How are you? Uh, you know, I can't complain. I'm sorry to hear that you have COVID, uh, as we yeah. talked about. Yeah. Um, but you know, you're going to power through. This is like the Jordan game of interviews. That's right. <laughs> I, um, I was watching the last dance while I was laid up. So I, I there you go. You're you right this. in the mindset. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah. So like I said, Adam has written this, uh, this book. Uh, so like, kind of like, what was your approach here? I know that there are a lot of books for kids, a lot of public histories. So what, what were you trying to, to do when you set out for this? So part of the process, the book was, I was actually approached to write the book. Um, and when they brought it to me, it was really just an idea, just a concept. And so what I was uh, thankfully able to do was take um, sort of a history of the game and so try to tie it in a way where kids can relate to it. And that's hard, you know, it's hard to do because even as adults, we don't necessarily know the history of the origins of baseball. That's, it's not even fully confirmed. So um, what I, what I hope to do was to talk about things that they can point to when they're watching a baseball game with their parents and they could say, oh, well, um, I read about that in my book. You know, an announcer says, oh, this hasn't been done since Frank Robinson. And then the, the kid draws a parallel and says, oh, wait, I read about Frank Robinson in my book because baseball, if you're a kid or even an adult, a first timer, it's not the easiest sport to engage in. You know, there's a lot of like rules and, and stillness and things that seem kind of boring. But if you create something that they can draw from and that young people can connect the dots with. Uh, that's what I was hoping to achieve uh, and uh, maybe teach them some stuff that they, maybe they wouldn't necessarily know, you know, something that that's not covered by the rest of the publications. Yeah. I mean, I noticed one thing that I, I noticed that I thought was very cool um, because I was interested in seeing how someone with left leaning politics would engage uh, with this. Uh, one thing I did notice is that you mentioned uh, not only were people of color excluded from baseball, but women, which I think is something people sort of forget. Like what were kind of things that maybe, you know, you were looking to like kind of spice in to give kids a little bit more of the real history? The um, no women playing that's near and dear to me because I have a daughter and, you know, um, one of our one of our jokes one of our jokes is that, you know, who are you going to play? Are you going to play baseball? Yeah. Who are you going to play for? Atlanta Braves. You know, it's like a joke we have, but you know, it's, it's important. I want her to be able to draw that parallel. I want kids that don't look like me necessarily. Baseball already has a hard enough time reaching young audiences of color. So if you can find someone, not just Jackie Robinson, you know, you know, and talk about the Negro leagues, talk about Frank Robinson, talk about Ricky Henderson, talk about these players that, that don't get the coverage in uh, otherwise. And so if you, they, if I look like you, then I want to be like you. So, yeah. So what was, uh, I guess, you know, what was your favorite thing to add to the book? I, you know, what was the, what was your, what was the thing that you felt like was the personal touch? The, the it had to be the Negro leagues. I yeah. really, I really wanted um, young people to understand like there was a distinct parallel time and, and to ask questions. The goal is not to spoon feed kids the history of baseball with this book. It's mm -hmm. to get them to engage their parents and to, to engage people in these conversations. And you know what, like what better of a backdrop to discuss something as difficult and complicated as systemic racism as baseball. That's, is it's a it's an accessible backdrop where young people can can draw a line like why couldn't they play together so that was really important to me very cool um so yeah so where can people find it where can they find your other work uh what do you you know what would you like to plug i guess yeah so you can always see me my work on romantic about baseball uh, romanticaboutbaseball.com 
and the book is available. I prefer, you know, you can get it on Amazon. I'd love if you can get it from bookshop.org. They, they support local bookshops and I am very into that message. Awesome. Well, thanks again. This was Adam C. McKinnon and he is the author of Baseball for Kids, a young fan's guide to the history of the game. Thanks a lot, Adam. Appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Oh.